we're going to move right along. So next up in our program is, is Chuck Cook at Renovo Data. Chuck uh, has been a part of Renovo Data family since 2006 and, he, and been part of their growing platform. Uh, when I first uh, came in contact with Chuck and Renovo Data, they were a data vault and they were a backup facility. And, and Chuck's uh, taken Renovo and grown, grown that model into a disaster recovery and a continuity planning business uh, and, a, and a great partner for us. So welcome, Chuck. Thank you. Appreciate the introduction. Hello, everyone. For this McLeod Cybersecurity Summit recovery phase discussion, today we're going to discuss and actually go over specific recovery steps and best practices for recovering after a malware infection. And we're going to talk about some different recovery tools and their relative cost versus performance. And a lot of this is going to be high level. So all of your technical folks out there, I'd love your feedback on the Q&A section at the end. To paint the context, you've seen lots of stats so far, I'm sure, but there's a couple key stats I'd like to land on. I hear in many instances, well, I'm just a small trucking company out of so-and-so. Why are they gonna hit me? Well, they have found with this study that over 70% of the targets are small businesses, and they call them SMBs, small to mid-sized businesses. And another scary stat is those SMBs, 75% of them don't have a DR plan. And those are the two bottom stats on the right and left. Even scarier, at the very top, 40 to 60% of these businesses, when they're impacted and they don't have access to their critical systems and data, they go out of business forever. So painting that context, let's talk about step one. Grab your plan. Even if you don't have a complete plan, if you have some notes about your environment, grab that, gather it, get it in one place, and take notes because you're going to need them. There are a lot of mistakes that are made during the fog of a stressful event, and we've seen people make moves and actually cause more damage to their environment by acting in haste than the actual malware infection itself. So you've grabbed your plan, you're taking notes, and here's where we're going to document what's happened. You got to verify which computers are actually impacted. Prioritize which ones are the most important. Determine when did this data destruction begin? When did this malware begin encrypting my files? How much time has elapsed for this server? And how far should I roll back with my backups? And speaking of backups, you need to verify that your backup jobs are still intact. We have seen bad actors, they have hooked you with a spear phishing email, they've infiltrated your network, and now we're looking at passwords. Key loggers are picking up all the admin passwords and accounts and impersonating you, destroying your backups just before they deploy the malware payload. So with all these things happening, if you can't set these impacted systems aside, consider doing a disk image or maybe doing uh, detailed notes and screenshots. And that'll help you after the event has passed. Another key thing, before you're clicking on that restore now wizard on whatever favorite backup tool you have, make sure you've removed infected systems from the production network. Make sure you understand what you're up against. Research the malware variant that you're dealing with. Google is your friend. In some cases, you might have to completely rebuild your operating systems before you attempt any data restores. It's just gonna depend on the backups you have and are available to you that, and what will suit uh, things best given the malware variant that you're dealing with. Otherwise, make sure you use more than one tool to scan and clean for the infections. Again, you've done your research, so now in these environments, uh, blogs and other posting boards, people have shared their war stories so you can use the best tool to help you clean the infections. And please verify that all systems on the network are clean prior to your restore efforts because reinfections hurt and causes delays. 